Wolf Pack, peach bourbon, barbecue sauce. It's absolutely dripping. Oh, it's it's go time. Let's all dig in. Thank you. Oh yeah. A little extra drip never hurt nobody. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. He's pretty good. It's sweeter than I thought. It is pretty fire. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'd probably say, uh, yeah, like an 8.1 or 3. It's pretty good. It's not bland like Sweet Baby Ray's or whatever. But it's got a little zest to it. I respect that. I respect the grind. Especially because you're a clothing company going into barbecue sauce. People don't do that. Yo, what's up? This is Sean from Wolfpack Clothing. To my right here, James O'Hagan. I call him Jimmy. <laughs> Shout out to Jimmy's buddy's girlfriend <laughs> for letting us use their house. We appreciate that. Shout out to Tommy Ted on the camera. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So you've been graduated for a little bit, technically. Um, first, tell us what your college major was. And then also, the first day you stepped on campus, I'd like to know like what you had envisioned for yourself or what your dream job was. Uh, well, I graduated with a history degree. Um, just always loved history growing up, uh, mostly U.S. history. I mean, they got a big ass eagle on my arm, so <laughs> kind of goes goes with that. But uh, coming onto campus, I mean, I've always wanted to play in the NFL. Uh, most of my teammates can attest to it. I mean, it's been my dream since I've been shit, 14 years old. I mean, it's just been it's been a huge dream of mine, and like to have it all coming coming down to the wire now is it's pretty it's pretty exciting. Yeah, congratulations on getting Thank to that you. point. Yeah, a lot of hard work goes into that. That's pretty cool then. Um, most people have no idea what they want to do. <laughs> so, I mean, to know that at that young is good. Um, what was your best memory from your college career? My best memory from my college career, uh, it, would, it would probably be that, that Ohio game my junior year when we uh, got, got to be ball eligible. It was just a really great environment. Team was going nuts after the game. I mean... It's always good when your teammates get hyped like that, and it was just like a really special moment because like it felt like we were getting over that hump of just being like a just being oh it's just Buffalo, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, you've pretty much been there for the entire upward trajectory <laughs> for the most part. Yeah, I mean we we just we had a really good group of guys, and we were all forced to play pretty young. Uh, we didn't like uh, my my redshirt sophomore year is the year we went two and ten. So, I mean that year was obviously really challenging, but I mean it was really good going forward because. We had a lot of pieces in place. Tyree was quarterback. We got uh, AJ had redshirted that year, and uh, obviously both guys are going to be drafted this year. So. Right. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, all right, what's your all-time favorite movie? All-time favorite movie? Oh, that's easy. Lord of the Rings. Okay. Uh, I'm a big <laughs> Lord of the Rings guy. Uh, if I was going to pick my favorite out of three of them, though, it'd be The Two Towers. Uh, Helm Seat Battle's pretty dope. How many of these movies have you watched? Uh, how many of these movies? Oh man, I mean, I watch I watch a lot of a lot of movies. I'm a big big movie guy. Okay. So uh, honestly, thought about doing something with film after I was done playing football, not acting or anything, but like maybe producing a movie or something like that. That'd be really interesting. So yeah, it's pr pretty much. I mean, I've seen a ton of movies. <laughs> Word. Um, so you watch Netflix then? Are you on that? Oh, absolutely. What's your current Netflix show, and what's your all-time favorite? My all-time favorite Netflix show has got to be a Netflix original. Okay. Uh, right, right now I've been really into this show called Last Kingdom. It's mm. about like uh, I'm unfamiliar. Ang Anglo Saxons and stuff like that. What's that? It's like uh, ancient like Viking warriors look like kind of. Like. Oh, that makes <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, honestly. Yeah, it's 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 pretty dope. Uh, <laughs> but all time, I mean, Breaking Bad's been on Netflix for a while, but I mean the the off the Office, I guess. Because, I mean, Classic. it's not a Netflix original, but, I mean, it's on Netflix, and I just watch that show constantly, so. Classic. All right, I literally wrote that question down because I'm looking for some new shows, so. <laughs> Noted. Um, so, it's been rumored that your state of mind is too superior to endure a brain freeze. That's absolutely true. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, if we if we were to set up an ice cream eating competition, would you be interested? Yeah, I, I I would definitely be interested. I mean, I don't I don't think anybody's taking me down on that, but uh, you can you can try to pick somebody. All right, <laughs> we can see if we can get some challengers. Um, 
If, if not ice cream, what would the second food be that you'd be comfortable crushing in a food competition? Uh, if it was mano y mano right now. Right now? Oh, man, eggs. I can eat a ton of eggs. <laughs> Yo, like, that's so gross. Eggs. That is so gross. Uh, two, weeks ago, two weeks ago, I was at my training facility in, in uh, Pennsylvania, and I ate um, six eggs. Uh, six pieces of toast and six pieces of bacon in three minutes. Why were you timing that? I don't know. Some, sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you just got to get after it. Sometimes. Just to right? myself. <laughs> My own personal PR. Yeah, I mean, and then I, and then I kind of upped it to eight to eight eggs, uh, six pieces of toast, and like eight pieces of bacon. So, I mean, I I got to I got to eat a lot to stay big. So, eating it fast is the easiest way to do it because you don't have time to really think about getting full. <laughs> right. Yeah, you guys heard it. Just keep going. <laughs> Push your limits. <laughs> really test it out. Um, okay, talk to us a little bit about the pre-draft process, what that means for you. Um, you know, a lot of people are curious about that because there's a lot of events that lead up to that. So talk to us a little <laughs> bit about that. And then, uh, yeah, the plan moving forward for how you're going to attack that. Uh, well, the pre-draft process, I mean, at, right now it's kind of in a, a the, the end period of, of that process. I mean... Most of the work you put in for the for the draft is is on tape through four or five years of college. I mean, I think that's a majority of what teams will look at and everything. But then after that, you go do pro day and 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 stuff like that. Which training for this process has been awesome. I mean, uh, I train with Terry Grissetti in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Uh, he has a, a facility there and just a bunch of good guys coming in and getting good work and getting ready for the draft. I mean, it's just been it's been a good experience and it's been a lifelong dream for me. Is that where you uh, spend most of your time? Uh, like at this point. At this point, mm-hmm. I mean, the last two months I've been there, but uh, after that I'll be home in Long Island, uh, just with my family and training with my trainer that I've been training with since I've been in eighth grade. So, okay. Yeah, that's what I'll I'll be doing next. He probably knows how to push you then, huh? Yeah, he does. Well, grinds your gears a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Um. All right. Uh, on a normal Thursday evening. What could we find you doing? You know, what are your hobbies? What do you like to uh, what do you like to get into? Um, what do I like to get into on a Thursday evening? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I'd probably just say just watching watching TV, maybe playing video games. I mean, I do a lot of. I, I'm kind of a random random dude. I do some random stuff. I don't really have as much of like a ritual or anything like that. I mean, you could find me cutting down. A, Cutting down a tree, or you could find me just napping. It's uh, I have a very big. Uh, I think those two really go hand in hand, honestly. Cut I mean, down a tree, and then you take then a you fucking take a nap. nap. <laughs> yeah. Shit. So you're kind of like the dude, like yo, hit up James. He's probably down to probably down to roll. Like you're just yeah, going absolutely. With the flow. Uh, I I go with the flow a lot. I mean, I mean, me 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 and my buddies just I mean, we're always doing something together. So. Makes sense. I thought you were gonna say like ping pong or something. <laughs> I did play a lot of ping pong though. <laughs> uh, it, when I was in Pennsylvania. I actually am semi pro in ping pong. So. <laughs> so, that was pretty cool. Um, if you could sit down and speak to one person, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Dang, that's tough. Yeah, it's a good um, question. <laughs> I'd probably say. <laughs> I'd probably say right now. Uh, Bills fans probably kill me, but uh, Tom Brady, guy, guy's a savage, and his just his work ethic and and everything that he does, uh, is it's just insane what he sacrifices to play football. I mean, he's got a whole family he's got to worry about. He's got uh, he's what 41 now. I mean, the guy the guy's like timeless. I mean, it, I'm, there's no other player in NFL history that has been this good for this long. Unfortunately, yeah, that's all <laughs> true things. Um, one piece of advice that has always stuck with you. You remember that moment? Um, one piece of advice would probably be something I learned in, in college: see a little, see a lot, see a lot, see nothing. Uh, it's just a, it's, a, it's a quote that uh, our quarterback coach and used to tell us in like meetings and stuff like that. Just basically means focus on the process and don't worry about so much the big picture stuff. Just worry about the uh, little daily, everyday uh, life stuff like. You got to take care of it. It also goes into football too. You're not trying to get a, a massive knockdown. You're just trying to execute your technique to the best of your ability. And then the knockdowns and big runs and stuff like that—they all come with just a, the, sticking to the process. What? And can you say the phrase one more time? See a little, see a lot, see a lot, see nothing. 
So see a little, you you get a lot more from it. See okay. a lot, you don't have you don't have as good of a vision as somebody who sees the the small things in life. Okay, so right along the lines of, you know, lay this brick as perfectly as possible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Every single brick. Yeah, and then the the house will come. I got you. Okay. And who gave you that? Uh, I mean, it's been said a lot. I have a shirt with it on it. My strength okay. coach used to say it. Okay, um, so it's a motto. On yeah, it's team. a it's a it's a motto. Yeah, just it's a it's pretty famous too. I think. Someone said it at one point. <laughs> I don't know who said it. <laughs> um, what does leadership mean to you, and how do you incorporate leadership into your daily life? Um, leadership to me means just uh, doing things, uh, setting an example for others. I guess it would be. I mean, you don't need to be mm-hmm. the most vocal guy. I mean, it, especially with football. I mean, it's it's good to be a vocal presence and stuff. And there's a time, the time for and it. a place. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's just taking care of your business. Uh, uh, and doing doing things right consistently and in in my daily life I mean I, I was a captain for two years at UB so <clears throat> I mean every day is it, you, you got to be a leader you can't just take days off uh, not like you, you it's just you can't do it I mean everybody's looking at you right. every single day every workout every lift every run a, a, everything and it's just a matter of being consistent I think leadership is consistency wow. and the guys who are the most consistent are the best leaders that's that was really really well worded. <laughs> yeah, that was that was perfect. That's how you get to be a leader on a college football team for multiple years, for real. All right, um, closing questions. Uh, this is where we do a little role reversal. You can ask us any one question, anything you want to know. I'll give you the best answer I can provide. What's your guys' mission at at Wolfpack? I would say our mission is to help other people live out their dreams and um, accomplish things that they never thought was possible after we do that ourselves. Yeah. So, like, after, like, you know, um, we accomplish the things and and do a lot of the crazy stuff that we want to do, eventually the the real goal would be to give back and to to basically create a platform that helps other people do the exact same thing. Respect. Yeah, because after it's... uh, you know, I could, you could almost say that the creative industry is, is similar to professional sports in the sense where a lot of people want to get into it, but very, very, very few people ever, you know, rise to the top of that industry and are able to feed their families with it. So after, you know, we get to that point, we want to help others do the exact same thing. And we're trying to do some really cool shit in the meantime. <laughs> so, I mean, that's kind of the end goal, but, you know, for the here and the now, we get to eat some pulled pork and, uh, you know, just shoot this shit and do shit like this, you know? Appreciate you. You guys are having me on here and stuff. Absolutely. I got one more. So I want to know if you can provide us with one thing that we can carry on our journey. So that, you know, we can carry it. This guy can walk away with something. Everyone watching can walk away with something. You know, is there, is there anything that that you can say to us that we can, you know, take with us? I mean, pretty much what I said before, the see little, see a lot thing. I mean, I think it's a it's a really important thing in my life. I mean, and it's helped me tremendously. A lot of times, people get too caught up in the big picture stuff, and just like worrying about where they're not, like, like or worrying about like the future in terms of like, oh man, we want to get here, here, and here, and just sometimes it gets lost. The hard work it takes. I mean, uh, another good example one of my coaches said in, in college was they put a trophy at the top of the staircase, but uh, and put a kid at the bottom, right? So he's trying to go up and get, get the trophy. And the dad asked the kid, <clears throat> what do you see? He says, oh, I see a trophy. What he didn't see was the steps, steps. that it took to get there. So, Wow, that's a deep one. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Appreciate it. Jimmy O'Hagan, put her there, partner. Hey, Appreciate thank you very you. much. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got enough in the... I've been, I've been trying to, trying to hit a, hit a